Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Well, today in this video, we will discuss about numerical problems based on kinetic energy and potential energy. This is Devinder Kaur and you all are welcome to Enlightened Room. We have the first problem here that how fast should a man of mass 60 kg run so that his kinetic energy is 750 joule. In this problem, we are given with mass of 60 kilograms and the kinetic energy of 750 joule. So we need to require the speed or you can say the velocity of the man. As known, the formula of kinetic energy is half mv squared. We have the kinetic energy as 750 joule here. 1 over 2 into the mass is 60 kilogram into v squared. Now this one would cancel with 60 resulting with 30 and the 30 would come to this side and will be divided with 750. So we can say it will be 2, 5. It will be 25. So V square is 25. So what will be the V? Square root of 25. That means the V here is 5 meter per second. So this is how we would solve this problem. Now let's move on to the second problem. In the second problem, find the mass of the body which has 5 joule of kinetic energy while moving at a speed of 2 meter per second. In this problem now we are required with the energy that means kinetic energy of 5 joule and it is moving with the speed of 2 meter per second and we need to find the mass of that body. So again we will use the same formula kinetic energy equals half mv squared. Now we need to find them, so we will put on the value of 5 joule of kinetic energy of 5 joule equals 1 half m times v squared that means 2 meter per second squared. Okay, so now we will solve this 5 equals 1 over 2 into m into 4. Now this one would cancel here, the 2 would come over this side and will be divided by 5. So the mass of the object can be written as 2.5 kilogram. See how easy it is. In the next problem, a player kicks a ball of 250 grams at the center of the field. The ball leaves his foot with a speed of 10 meter per second. We need to find the work done by the player on the ball. Now in this problem, we are given with mass of 250 grams and the velocity of 10 meter per second and we need to find the work done. Well, you know very well that uh, ability to do work is energy. So work and energy is the same thing, right? So if I say that kinetic energy is the amount of work done by the player on the ball, so we can uh, simply write the formula of kinetic energy here as this and now the work done is one half, sorry half into mass. Now mass is in grams. We need to calculate it in kilograms. So for that, I will divide it with 1000 to uh, uh, find it out in terms of kilograms. So it will be, you can say 25 upon 100 into V squared, which is 10 squared. Okay, so the work done is half times 25 upon 100 into 10 times 10 is 100. So these two will be canceling, canceling each other and the work done is 25 upon 2 which is 1, 12.5 joule. So here is our answer. Now it's time for the next problem. In this problem, a body of mass 5 kg initially at rest is subjected to a force of 20 newtons. What is the kinetic energy acquired by the body at the end of 10 seconds? 
in this problem it is given that the object is initially at rest so we can say that the initial velocity here is zero so we are required with the mass initial velocity force and the time and we need to find the kinetic energy since you know the formula of kinetic energy is half mv squared now we are given with the mass but we still need to find the velocity it is the initial velocity we need to find the final velocity okay so for final velocity uh, we will take the uh, three equations of motion so we are here with v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at squared and v square minus u square equals 2 as now in these three problems I will reject these two one because uh, we do not need any distance in this problem we just need simply need the velocity and I can calculate it from this but we, we are still left with acceleration we do not have the value of acceleration so we will calculate first calculate the value of acceleration and then we will calculate the value of final velocity and then we will be able to calculate the kinetic energy okay so for finding acceleration now you are required with the force you are required with the mass you know according to second law of motion f equals m a so now f is 20 mass is 5 times acceleration so acceleration comes out to be 4 meter per second squared right now we need to find the velocity so i'm going to take this formula as v is equal to u plus a t v is equal to 0 plus 4 into 10 so v comes out to be 40 meter per second now we need to find the kinetic energy so the kinetic energy is half m v squared uh, half m is 5 and v is 40 40 squared so 1 uh, 1 upon 2 into 5 i will write it as 40 times 40 so that it is easy for the calculation it comes out to be 20 here now 5 times 20 is 100 and 100 times 40 comes out to be 4000 joule so this is our answer now let's move on to the next problem now the next problem is related to the potential energy here a body of mass 4 kilogram is taken from a height of 5 meter to a height of 10 meter you have to find the increase in potential energy so in this problem we are required with the mass of 4 kilogram and there is a change in height the uh, object previously was at 5 meter distance and now it was raised up and was taken to a distance of 10 meter so we have uh, two methods to solve this problem first one is simply subtract these two 10 minus 5 and it comes out to be 5 meter and we would simply find out the potential energy as mgh if we take g as 10 we can sim uh, very easily calculate this uh, problem and the mass is 4 times 10 into 5 and it comes out to be 200 joule now the other method is first you will calculate the potential energy of the object when it was at 5 meter then you would calculate the potential energy of the object which when it was at 10 meters and then you would subtract this to calculate the increase in potential energy now this one is also an increase in potential energy now i'm going to solve it with the other method the other method is i will write it as ap1 as when the object was at the height of 5 meters okay so it is mg h1 which is 4 into 10 into 5 and it comes out to be 200 joule then i am gonna find ap2 okay uh, this one is a different method for ap2 that means when the object was at the height of 10 meter i have mg h2 you can take it as here this one is the ground this was at 5 meter and then it was raised to 10 meter okay so mgh2 4 into 10 into 10 so it comes out to be 400 joule okay now the increase in potential energy would be the subtraction of these two so increase in potential energy is when the object has 
reached its final position that means ep2 minus when it was at the previous position okay so it is ep1 so 400 minus 200 it comes out to be 200 joule and it is still the same answer okay so it all depends upon you if you want to use this method you can use this one if you want to opt out for this method then you can simply use this one okay in this problem an object of mass 1 kilogram is raised through a height h its potential energy increases by 1 joule find the height now this problem is very easy to solve now in this problem you are required with the potential energy of 1 joule and the mass of 1 kilogram and you just need to find the height okay so up to which height the object has been raised so we have potential energy as mgh I am simply going to write here 1 joule, 1 kilogram times 10 meter per second squared, the acceleration due to gravity and the height h. So, 1 over 10 would be the answer or you can simply write it as h is equal to 0 0.1 meter. Simple as that. Now, it is time for the next problem. In this problem, a 5 kilogram ball is thrown upwards with a speed of 10 meter per second. Find the potential energy when it reaches the highest point and calculate the maximum height attained by it. Now in this problem we are required that the object has this mass and it is moving with this velocity and we have to find the potential energy. Okay? So uh, if you pay attention that the object was previously moving, okay? so that means that object has some uh, kinetic energy. So, when it reaches the maximum point, the kinetic energy gets converted into potential energy. So, the thing here is that this is the object, this was thrown up and uh, when it was going upwards, it was attaining some height. So, when it was moving, this object had some kinetic energy, alright, because it was in motion. Now, when it has reached here, the maximum height, the whole kinetic energy has been converted into potential energy because it has reached at some height, it has acquired some position for, for you can say some nanoseconds. Okay? So, uh, here is the maximum height which we need to find and here is the potential energy. At this point, the potential energy we need to find. Okay? Now, as I said, the kinetic energy has been converted into potential energy. So, whatever the amount of kinetic energy has been attained here, that same amount would be the, would be the amount of potential energy here, right? I am repeating myself again. Whatever the amount of kinetic energy has been attained here, when it has reached its maximum point, the kinetic energy has been converted into potential energy and the same amount would be of potential energy. So, if we calculate the kinetic energy because we are required with the requirements of kinetic energy. So, I am going to calculate the kinetic energy as half mv squared it is 1 over 2 into 5 into 10 squared and the kinetic energy here is 250 joule and this kinetic energy has been converted into potential energy and the potential would be just the same. Now you need to find at what height we have got this potential energy. That means at maximum height we have got this potential energy. So the potential energy, the formula of potential energy is mgh and it is 250, m is 5, we are going to assume gravity as 10 and h. So uh, it is 50, 250 over 50 equals h and it comes out to be 5. So we are required with the height of 5 meters. Okay. Now, it is time for the last problem we are going to discuss today. Now, in the last problem, a 5 kilogram ball is dropped from a height of 10 meters. So, we need to find the initial potential energy of the ball. We need to find the kinetic energy just before it reaches the ground and calculate the velocity before it reaches the ground. Now, in this problem, we are required with the mass of 5 kilogram and the height of 10 meters. So, when it was at the object was at the height of 10 meters, there is our initial, uh, there is our initial potential energy. Ok. 
okay so we need to find it the object is here and it has been dropped from this height so the height is 10 meter so when it was at this position okay we need to find the potential energy here and this is our initial potential energy so the initial potential energy is very simple to calculate it is mgh and m is 5 kilogram into g is 10 into height is 10 so it is 500 joule now in this second part if you pay attention that it has started moving now at this position this object had the potential energy right when it started moving the whole potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy and before just before reaching the ground it still has that kinetic energy that same kinetic energy since the whole potential energy has been converted into kinetic energy so for the second problem we are left with the kinetic energy of same 500 joule right now in the third third part we have to calculate the velocity of that object before it reaches the ground okay so you can see at the same point we need to find the velocity okay so for that we are required with the kinetic energy of half mv squared and the kinetic energy before reaching the ground we just calculated is 500 and we have 1 over 2 into the mass is 5 kilogram and we need to find the velocity so the 2 would be going here 2 into 500 over 5 equals v squared so it is 100 2 into 100 is 200 v squared so the v will be square root of 200 and the square root of 200 is i guess 14.14 meter per second if i'm wrong then do correct me in the comment section okay so i guess uh, it will be 14.4 yes it will be 14.4 uh, 14.14 okay so here is our answer so dear students today we have discussed plenty of problems related to kinetic energy and potential energy i hope you have liked my video i hope you have found my video useful and if you have found my video useful then subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends with your uh, classmates with your batchmates and uh, also tell them to subscribe my channel okay thank you for watching